Hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying Christmas. That you're all healthy and happy and perhaps having a good time together. Um, I'm, if you're interested, here alone at the Moksha Hills, which was once called the University of the Trees. I've been doing a lot of contemplation, meditation, and writing. This has been an extraordinary year, I think, for everyone. There's still some uncertainty, but hopefully next year will be a bit calmer. I'm feeling pretty good having had plenty of time to be calm, to think about life, and I think it might rain today, which is good, because as you know, this area has had long drought, and it has uh, had multiple years of wildfires, quite serious. I've been playing a lot of guitar and piano, and I seem to have only seen beauty and felt the generosity and grace of strangers and friends, old and new. about all of you and wishing you well and I wish I was there with you now but here I am so it seems like there's a purpose for my being here I've been able to grow the ecosystem restoration camps movement remarkably in this time it seems more people understand how important it is. The United Nations has even asked the camps movement, together with a partner, the Gaia University, to make a camp in Syria. The project in Egypt is moving forward. The president of Egypt has told the public that this is going to happen. And um, the research goes well into how to restore even massively degraded landscapes that have been degraded over huge historical time. The camps movement grew from one camp to two camps to 21 camps to 37 camps now. And many more are forming. We've just started new, new connections to other groups, including one group called the Archangel Ancient Tree Archive, which has been working for 30 years to 
maintain the DNA of the oldest trees on the earth. This is very exciting and uh, there's work with children and young people, farmers. It's uh, really amazing how this is coming together. Don't forget me. I'm thinking of you all. I love you and I hope that uh, you find this a suitable Christmas present. One other thing I would tell you is go into nature. I've been here now for a little while. I was five months in a tent on Mount Shasta. I've driven across Colorado and Nevada and Utah and New Mexico and Arizona in this beautiful 2007 Subaru. Thank you so much to my sister, brother-in-law, my, my, uh, my niece, who have this, sold me this beautiful car. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it's extraordinary to drive through the end of the petroleum era <laughs> in such a beautiful classic vehicle. It feels like the world is changing and that time may go away. And it's, it's been really charming and has allowed me to see many beautiful things. Here, when you walk around here in the trees, you're breathing the aerosols from tremendous biodiversity. And these contain terpenes and aromatic substances which are important for health and well-being. And I, I'm feeling that more and more. I've lost a lot of weight. <laughs> Had to get some new pants because my trousers were falling off. And um, So I hope the new year will go well, that uh, the insecurity that we all have felt in 2020 will disappear into joy and peace and love. Feel free to contact me at any time. Much love.